Welcome to ECU Libraries. My name is Katie Cavanaugh-Webb, and I'm going to show you today how to find articles in the foreign languages fields. To get started, we're going to go to the library's webpage. And from here, we're going to go to the database list. Now, this webpage and the one prior may change in appearance, but the basic parts will be the same. You'll see a search box to search for known databases if you know the title you're looking for. And also, if you know the title, you can search by the alphabetical letter that, you're, that you know that it starts with. And if you don't know what database you're looking for, you can also browse by subject. Now, we have the option here in the center of the screen to search for databases in the foreign languages and literatures field. So we're going to click on that and be brought to a list of six or seven databases that we have listed for foreign languages and literatures. You're going to see a few that may be good for uh, the study of Spanish language. Uh, you'll also see two softwares used for language learning. One is called Mango Languages and the other one is Pronunciator. The one we're going to focus on today is actually here at the bottom of the screen, MLA International Bibliography. Now this is a um, database that's brought to you by the same people who make MLA Style, the Modern Language Association. So of course they know languages. This is the first uh, page you reach, and it's the main search screen. You are going to be able to uh, take a look through and find journal articles for a paper that you have uh, due. And I'm going to use a sample topic today. The sample topic I'm going to use is about the Mexican author Sor Juana, and I'm going to talk about feminism in relation to her writing. So. I'm going to search for Sor Juana first, and when I start typing in, I'm going to type in Sor Juana, but the database is going to suggest her full name, Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. So when I click on that and choose it, it will find all 1,000 some articles that have to do with her in this database. So I now have her, um, her items here up on the screen, but again, I wanted to search about feminism. So in the box after the word and, I'm going to write feminism. When I do this search, it result, the results come down to 25. Now, I see that some of these are in Spanish. So using my knowledge of the Spanish language, I am going to change this box that says and to or. And I'm going to put the word feminismo in there, which is the same word as feminism, but in Spanish. Now that I have these results with Sor Juana Inez de la Cruz and feminism, feminism or feminismo, I now have the English and the Spanish equivalents here on the screen, and I back up to 332 articles. Now, your paper may ask you to use only scholarly or peer-reviewed works. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see some things called limiters. Now, the limiters allow you to choose things like peer-reviewed. And I'm going to choose that and reduce my results now down to 151. So I'm getting closer to what I'm looking for. And in the assignment, let's say that we wanted to look at the most recent works. So we're looking for articles written in the last 15 years about this topic. We've now reduced our search down to 85. So we started with about 1,000 articles. With feminism, in the English form, we only found 25. So we expanded the search to include the Spanish equivalent of that word. We then limited to take out peer review, or to only look at peer reviewed, and then also to look at the most recent and now we have this listing that we're going to go through. So now that we have this manageable list, we're going to look through the articles and see if any of them are a fit for our paper. Now you're going to base this on the title and the subjects listed below. In MLA bibliography, some of the articles will also have what's called an abstract, which is just a short paragraph that teaches you about what the article is about, but not every single one has that. So if you hover over this first one, you'll see that an abstract isn't listed. Next, you're probably wondering how you'll find the article. Not every single one of these articles has the PDF full text listed. If it did, it would be listed here, much like this one down here. 
Now in this case, if it says find it, that doesn't necessarily mean that we don't have it. If you click on find it, a new window opens in the search and we'll see that actually we do have access to it. If you click on it here, here is the article in its full text version and I can read it right now. I've now gone into a new database where we had this article. So in order to go back to my search, I'll have to click back on the left hand tab to the left of the one that had opened before. Um, one really good way of getting your articles all together in one place is to um, use a folder. Now in MLA Bibliography, if you click on this folder icon, it turns to a yellow manila folder and it says over here, folder has items. So if I click on the next four, which all look like good articles for my paper, I can have them all together, kind of like in a shopping cart on, a, on a, another website. If I go into the folder view, I see the four that I had that I liked, and the other 85 are left out. I can do some things here, including email these to myself. Some benefits of emailing them to yourself is that you don't have to come back into the database later and you can choose your citation format so when you get the email you will have the article or a link back to it you will have your citation at least started although I do recommend checking those over before you you turn it in and I will also have um, to not go back into the database so once I click on this and then click send it says that my email has been sent to me. I'm going to get that um, in just a few moments. So, so you now have your articles for the paper. If you have trouble locating articles for your search, Joiner Library offers research assistance at our desk on the first floor. But we also offer a service called Book a Librarian. It's a 30 minute meeting where you can meet with me and we can talk about how to find resources for your paper. Um, and if you have questions, please ask a librarian. Thank you.